Hi, my name is Palaparanj and this uh, screencast will cover how to export ex Excel files in Ruby on Rails. This is a very practical way of doing it and had done this thing for generating complicated reports for one of my clients and it worked out really well. So I hope this is going to be really useful for you and this is based on the blog post by Brian and this is his blog. Uh, address and he has written blogged about this so let's uh, get started okay this is very simple and it's really awesome to uh, get this thing working and it's very quick okay so let's get started now I have this postcard application what we'll do is we'll start with the controller and we will have an export action that will allow us to export uh, the records as Excel file. Okay, I sent the content type as Microsoft Excel, and I give a name for the uh, file that we are going to export. It called as a report at Excelus. Otherwise, uh, Rails will de by default will name it as something else, and it's an attachment. And I'm telling the browser not to cache this thing. Every request will generate this thing and it will be sent back to the client. Okay. Now, this is very simple here. It just says postcard.find all, and postcard doesn't have anything except the title. But in real uh, projects, you'll have very complicated uh, queries. Most likely, you will bypass all of the active record. You'll just get down, um, just direct SQL with lots of joins and doing all kinds of things for getting reports of your system for internal and a business process you know management kind of a thing so but the structure and the way to get this thing working is the same and we'll go ahead and um, check out the migration the migration I'm going to get rid of all the image related stuff because we don't need this And then let's see if I can do a reg db mic redo the new command and see if I can drop the table and recreate it. Migrate redo. There it is. It dropped the table and then it migrated back up again. This time we only have title. Okay, this is a new reg task in Rails that oh. Now we are going to create the view and this will be called as export.html.erb. After this act, export action is completed, else we'll look for the export view and we're going to create one now. Export.html.erb and it's going to have this table. This is the title for the table, and here I'm rendering the partial. So let's create the partial postcard HTML ERB. Basically, you just create a table and use the fact that uh, Microsoft Excel is capable of displaying any table in the spreadsheet. Okay, and uh, we also need to modify the routes.rb to allow the non-restful route to export to be routed to the export action. So we'll say, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I don't know the syntax. Hang on. So this will be just map.resources, postcards, collection, getting a bunch of records, and export is the action, and we're enabling the get method. OK. Then now we can also put a link on the index page where we can do a export as Excel. You just click on export as Excel and you will have that exported as Excel. Here is the index. 
So I'm going to get rid of this uh, displaying images part of it. And all this is going to say is I'm going to have export as Excel. Export postcards URL will wrap to the export action. If you do records, you'll see this is the name of the method that needs to be used. And in the postcard model, since you're not using the uh, images or anything, this was, I created this to, for some other screencast where I showed you how to use attachment full plugin. So we don't need that. We have done the migration and let's see if we can bring the server. Before that, we need to create some records. Let's go to the script console and create some postcards. Okay, now we have two postcards to play with and let's bring up the server. And then we'll open up and go to the index in the local app host postcards. There it is. Now we have export as Excel. Now Let's see what happens when you click this. Okay, now it says, do you want to download this? Download, there it is. Now I can drag this into my dock. Okay, where it is? My dock, okay, now reports I'm just dropping it on Microsoft Excel just to show you there it is as you can see you have the title header and then all the values we got from the database so it's very easy to use and it's very practical things I found this tip handy maybe you'll find it very handy someday so thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this screencast please recommend me on working with trials see you next time